Yeah, I'm back on site. So here we went ahead and took off all the forms for our footers here. And before I did that, I transferred my marks back from the wood uh, forms that I'd made and just kind of made some black marks there on the uh, concrete uh, uh, footers here. So black marks there, these are the outside of my stem walls. And I'll be using the, uh, the Fox Block uh, ICF. It's gonna make this a real easy thing. But you see here, I just uh, made a mark on this side here and then down at the other end, put the chalk line down there, snap that with this permanent red chalk here. And that's the line I'll use to align my Fox Box. So that'll be the outside of the stem wall. And I only need it on one side, so I'll probably just do it on the outside. And just gonna go back, double check my plans, and make some marks, put chalk lines down, and we'll finally go ahead and start building some walls. Alright, go ahead and snap that line there. Been a couple of minutes now, went back to my plans, double checked our marks, and redid our measurements, make sure that everything. All the outside edges are where they should be. Everything's marked. The foundation is square. We double checked all that stuff. Uh, did the chalk lines. So now we're gonna get to the fun part, which is actually putting down the fox block. When we're getting this uh, fox block set up, I always like to take my two longest and straightest walls and start with those ones. That kind of helps with getting everything aligned, but putting the chalk lines down. Uh, that already helps get anything in line. But first thing to do is always start with your corners. So I put my corner down there and then my other corner here. And then uh, what you do is you don't start at one side and go to the other. Your, your blocks gonna be all messed up when you get to the middle. So you always start at, at, at the outsides and build your way in until you get the little seam in the middle there. And you cut that one out. And then after we're doing that, then we'll move to this corner and do the same thing and moving down but basically just start with the corners and work your way towards the middle So in no time, we've got almost all the way around on our first uh, row here of blocks. We're only going too high, so almost halfway done. And so like I said before, you start at the outsides and we'll work right in, and then we get to these little middle parts. I'm just going ahead, cutting out small blocks, just measuring it, cutting out some more blocks with the sawzall, just sliding right in, and then on to the next one. Try that again. Slide right in, so I couldn't do it one-handed. And done. And we got those last few center spots, and now we have the first layer of block all the way around. And then once we get the first layer in there, important thing to do is going back with our rebar. For this foundation, we only need one strand of rebar, so just putting one line of rebar down the center. And you see with this fox block here it has these nice little little grooves in there that the rebar can sit into. And if you want to, you can always uh, uh, tie the rebar down to the uh, box there. You probably don't have to, to uh, tie it to every little plastic piece. Uh, I'll tie it to a couple here and there. But where I do tie it down to is down here on the rebar. 
you see in there I had the rebar tie and tie the uh, vertical rebar in the concrete down to this horizontal one so then that'll kind of a uh, lock them all together once that concrete is poured and dries and to get all this rebar tied together is what we're using just these little pre-packaged uh, rebar ties and then, I don't even know what this tool is but a little whirly tool it just goes through those uh, two loops there and you twist it together and ties the bar together and holds it nice and strong so that's what those are a little detail on those and back to work and now we'll go ahead and start on our uh, second level and same thing as the first you start at the corners and work your way in but with these corners you might see they're a little bit different so you got on this one it's a short corner and then the long long part long part short part and then on the bottom it's actually the long part and the short part so when you stack the second layer on there you flip them over so then the long part will be above the short part so then when you get to the part like here your next block will end right there and you're not having seams that are lining up with each other and that's going to make your wall much stronger so that's what's left to do put the straight pieces in so that's where we're going to get to now And here in the middle of the forms, uh, before the rain had a chance to uh, rain us out. So these these are where these uh, bottom uh, support uh, footers go. Those forms there. You can see here kind of what we did is these are three 2 by 12s that are going to be sandwiched together. That's going to be our main girder. That's going to go down the center of the uh, foundation there and hold up the floor. So basically you just cut a little notch out put this block in here so when we take the block out and the concrete is cured and formed in there they'll need leave a nice little pocket in there for our beam to come in and sit in there and it'll be uh, fully supported on the concrete here and then of course we'll have six by six beams down the center holding that that girder up all the way down to the other end so here on the back wall there I don't know if you can see it on the camera here but down there it's a, a little bit of like a bow coming out and what's nice about these forms here is once you pour the concrete in and uh, you let it cure for, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so and it starts to stiffen up a bit, you can go down to the wall there where it's kind of bowing out or bowing in and you can move the forms a little bit, put a little, uh, little wood support on the side and you can really get the walls nice and straight. And also here, I said before, I didn't want to put the uh, clean outs in because I didn't know exactly where they're going to be. They just have to be within five feet of the house. So now we know where the house is going to be. We're able to uh, go ahead and put these clean outs in. So this one comes down and it points that way. This one comes down and points this way. And we made a little uh, block that goes through here through the wall. Made a little, little form around this and stick a pipe in there. Just because we don't want that, that 
concrete resting on our pipe there. So this is going to still be removable. And uh, we moved it a little bit so this is parallel with the wall because the plumber, he really likes when the pipes come in and they're kind of in line with the whole house and not at a funny angle. So we did that. Put a cap on there so not can get any sewer gases in our crawl space. And that is tied on to the other side so that block's not going to move. And I think those gaps are small enough that the concrete's not going to come spilling through there. So that's just a little update on our construction site here and what we've been doing these last couple days. Uh, actually the work that I just showed you that only took about the afternoon but I didn't film that because it was raining and had to get out of there before then. But anyways today's a big day. It is the concrete day. The truck is on its way right now. They called me. They said they're mixing it up and they'll be here pretty soon. And we have a concrete uh, pump truck that is coming. It's a small one with, on a trailer which is really nice to fit in this area here because it's uh, really tight here with trees and stuff. So we'll have it pumped so that's going to be really easy. I'll show you that whole process when he gets here. And yeah we have all our tools out here. We've got our extension cord. We've got some water ready. And uh, yep yeah, everything's all ready out here just waiting for the truck. So uh, yep when that pump gets here and the truck gets here turn back on the camera and then it's time for the fun. So see you in a minute. And there we go. Hard part is done. Uh, pump guy came. We got this, uh, these walls filled in with that pump. It makes things very, very easy. So always happy when he shows up to do the job. But we got that put in there. Got it vibrated. Uh, we had a little problem down here. Maybe you saw that on the time lapse or not. But this little piece here is just a little, the little foam there. 
uh, it wasn't supported on the back here, only on the other side, and this little little foam popped out and lost some concrete, but we still had plenty of concrete to uh, fill that back in and make it all the way around, and we didn't run out. Then we went back, got everything smoothed out. It's already starting to cure now, because it's pretty, pretty warm out, but got that. We put our anchor bolts in, put those in. Uh, we measured it out, so it's every 72 inches. And it'll be every six inches from the edges of our boards that will go on top of here. And let me bring you around here. This is our girder pocket. Went ahead and pulled these uh, blocks out. It got that nice and smoothed up in there. Let me bring you around the back side there. Kind of see that one. So smooth up there. Tomorrow we can come back, put that girder in. But everything is looking very nice here. Real happy with how this uh, concrete uh, came out here. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. This is the end of concrete day. And um, when the concrete is done, I'm definitely happy about that. Because I think doing the concrete for these uh, foundation is definitely the hardest part to do. So I'm always happy when it's complete. And the concrete pour is all done now. So now we can go on to the uh, fun stuff, is which is doing the uh, woodwork and putting a subfloor down and framing the walls and building this house. So I'm real excited at the point that we're at now. The bugs, I don't know if you can see them on the cameras, but they are crazy today. So I'm ready to go home, uh, get away from these bugs and take a little break. Thanks for watching. And if you like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe because we have a new one every single weekend. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next weekend.